morning, a patient in Dallas has tested positive for Ebola, the first person diagnosed with the virus in the United States. It's leading many people in Southeast Texas to ask, can the virus come here? And if so, are we prepared? Fox Sports Haley Bull is investigating how one local hospital is preparing. That's our top story. I'm at Baptist Hospital where staff say they're prepared to handle a case of Ebola should it come through, though the risk for that is low. And it all starts with rooms like these, an isolation room that is in each unit of the hospital. The director of infection prevention says any other room in the hospital could also be used to isolate the patient, a first step in handling the virus. Workers would also use surgical masks, gloves, and gowns to minimize their risk. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the virus is spread through contact with bodily fluids and is not airborne. Symptoms can appear anywhere from 2 to 21 days after exposure. One doctor at Baptist Hospital says the risk is very low. Disease control and prevention, the virus is spread through contact with bodily fluids and is not airborne. Symptoms can appear anywhere from 2 to 21 days after exposure. One doctor at Baptist Hospital says the risk is very low. Ebola in itself is actually a very uh, low risk disease because it's not spread by coughing or sneezing or casual touch. You'd have to come in contact with body fluids such as blood or feces or heavy sweat. So the risk is actually very low. Staff at the hospital say one of the most important factors in keeping this disease under control is patients letting staff know their travel history. In Beaumont, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News.